All right, so Cantonese tones, how to remember them. Uh, six tones, I guess, aren't a lot of tones. Uh, it's a little bit more than the four tones in Mandarin. However, it can still not be so easy to remember. Like, if you ask someone out of the blue, no, what's this tone? No, it's kind of hard to remember, right? So uh, when I do Cantonese with uh, students, I usually give them a couple of eights. I share with them a couple of eights to help them remember. So eight number one would be using numbers. Okay, so from numbers zero to ten, there are there are actually some numbers that correspond to the six tones. So if you remember these six numbers and how they're pronounced, pretty much you can pronounce. Uh, you you can remember the tone, the pitch for each of these tones. So these six numbers are one, nine, four, zero, five, and six, or respectively in Cantonese. Yeah, gao, say. Lang, mm, lo. All right. So you can think of them as reference points. So what does that mean? For example, Hong Kong. You see the romanization here, right? Uh, there's H O E N G and G O N G, and you just have to match the pitch to the same pitch of the um, the numbers that have the same tone. So uh, like this. So. Hong Kong should be pronounced with the same pitches, same tones as uh, one and nine. So yat gao, so yat hong gao gong. So you can use these uh, these numbers as reference points to um, remember your tones. All right. So uh, eight number two tone categories. Another way, if you'd like to kind of make it a little easier, is to remember these tones uh, split into two categories. And in order. So, uh, for example, uh, the two categories are flat tones or uh, level tones versus rising tones. So, flat tones are just that they're flat in terms of pitch, they don't change. There are four flat tones out of the six, and they are respectively tone one, tone three, tone six, and tone four. And you remember them specifically in that order because these tones they decrease in pitch. Right. So if we use the representative numbers that we just talked about, they go yat, say, lo, leng. So it goes from the highest pitch to the lowest pitch. Right. These two are usually the hardest to remember because they're sandwiched between these two. Right. So uh, it helps to have some sort of that uh, sequence to remember the sequence of pitches. Uh, the 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 two other tones tones number. Two and five are rising tones, so this is kind of like uh, the second tone is gao. Compare that to the fifth tone. Mm. So I like to think of it in terms of the fifth tone is kind of like the second tone cut uh, somewhere around halfway in between, so you can't progress any further. So these are the two rising tones. Right, we've got the quote unquote full rising tone and then the quote unquote Half rising tone or partial rising tone, if you want to remember it like that. And oh well, there we go, the full rising tone and the cut off rising tone. Uh, and the third aid that you can use is with music, like maybe on a piano, you can appro actually approximate the pitches approximately um, to these tones. But that will take a different video to uh, explain in terms of length, so we'll do that in a separate video. All right, uh, that's it for this time. As usual, any questions and comments are very welcome below. Please uh, leave a comment below. And uh, if you like the video, don't forget to click uh, the thumbs up button and to subscribe to the channel so you can receive updates in the future. All right, thank you very much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.